have the saw set up just outside of my machine shed so I don't make such a mess in here. Um, I'm going to set the camera up right where it is inside because it's a little bit windy out there. I'm getting ready to cut all of the parts for the sawhorse greenhouse. I need to get my version of it set up pretty quick because I have a bunch of vines that are ready to go. If you want the drawings for this, I got a set of uh, drawings that I'll link to on the website. All right, here we go. What I'm doing here is I got my cheap brackets. And we have decent sized holes here. I'm going to put some, some screws, hold everything together. They have these tiny little screw holes here to hold the cross member on. What I'm going to do is enlarge them a little bit so it doesn't strip out the screw when I put the thing together. I think they expect, expect people to throw a nail in there or something. It's kind of old school. Now I'm going to grab the lumber and put this thing together. Okay, what I have here, I started through the lumber and these are the two long stretchers. This is the part that will hold the bottom of the door. The door is just plastic right over the top. These are the end stretchers, the short stretchers with the bevel on both ends. And this is, what am I calling this? I'm not calling it anything, but this is the top board uh, ridge beam, something like that. These are all, all three of these are just plain old two by fours. And I cut them to Make sure they were exactly eight feet long. Got a little bevel on the bottoms of these to so just pop it into place and tighten it on the face. And I'm just going to throw some washer headed cabinet screws on there. You can see it's got a nice wide head. Some people like to use drywall screws on everything. And it's just kind of stupid, they suck. All right, that's one. I'm gonna check the angle of my bevel. Quick and easy. Problem is, I have no greenhouse, and pretty much every spring I want to get flowers started early or something. Or vines for the greenhouse, or vines for the vineyard is what I really need to get started this year. And the vines are already sprouted and they're doing pretty well. But they're in the house in a window and they can't be there for too long. So it'll get all spindly and sickly. Uh, and they're not acclimated. So they need to get outside. It's a lot of sun. and be ready for the vineyard. 
the uh, drop dead planting date when all chance of frost is supposed to be gone is May 15th. The last two years it has, we've had frost on, I think it was on May 15th and one year just slightly after May 15th. So I think I'll wait till 20th or so. Before planting into the vineyard. Okay. I think I have a bowl I'm going to put to the top. It's pretty. Uh, it's not that important because it's only an eight foot long stick. I'm only going to be using it for about a month. have some barbs when you spread them apart they have some barbs right here not quite sure if you can see that or not but those dig into the wood not that it's super important not dug in, it really doesn't matter. Throw a screw, single screw into these. That's the ones I just widened a little bit. Once I have the uh, stretchers in place and throw another one in on either side. Alright, the stretchers need, because the screws are going to go so close to the end grain, I'm just going to use a piece of scrap wood to mark the location of the leg that they're going to go into. They're just putting that flush up at the end, quick and easy. And I'm going a little bit towards the inside. I want to keep as far away from this as possible to keep from splitting. Otherwise, they can just fall apart if they split there. I don't have to be too fussy about this, but it should be done. All right, on these long stretchers, again, they go. I'm only put two screws in here. And the one that's towards the end here is the only one it really needs to, to be pre-drilled. What I'm using, I got the right one? No, I don't.
two and three quarter inch construction screws from Menards. I use these, I built my house with these things. They're great. So, get a, the end stretcher comes flushed to the end here, so this needs to be flush. Just driving it in. Now this is pretty, pretty bad lumber. You know, it's warped and a little twisted and stuff, but it shouldn't, shouldn't really matter for all intents and purposes. If it keeps the vines alive until planting time, then it's done its job. For the ends. Okay, I'll get one stretcher on for you, and then the other one I don't need to film. That is how it goes. Flush. All right, and then one into the leg. Yeah, this would be super strong. If I just uh, anchor it down to the ground. I shouldn't have many problems at all. Just gotta pull all this crappy lumber tight together so you can get a screw in. Should hold enough for your average fairly large garden of new stuff that you're starting unless you start a lot of annuals actually this is a cold frame but it looks like a greenhouse so I'm calling it a greenhouse and the last joint And 
that's that. Pretty darn strong. So now I got to get this outside. I'm sure I can lift it myself. Not that heavy. Either that or I'll get my wife to help. And I'm going to stake it to the ground. But well, once it's staked down, then it gets plastic, wrapped in plastic and the plastic will be looped around the door. I'm going to come down here, loop around the front, and to open it, I'm just going to take this off, lift it up, and I will probably put a couple, uh, a couple cleats on here to rest it on. One at the top, one in the middle maybe, to let air in. But other than that, that's pretty much it. I'm going to get this thing outside now. <laughs>